Brand new podcast. It's your man, Sean Cotton. It's Rocky Bellatine. Now, this week has been adventurous, man. There's been a lot of shit that's been going on, a lot of entertainment. And now, the guy, Mad Music, what's his name, Mad Music, from New Orleans? Yeah, I was, think so. Uh, yeah, he was at Linux Mall, and uh, I believe he bumped into NBA Youngboy on his 18th birthday, which was um, two days ago, Friday. And uh, allegedly, you know, NBA Youngboy and his crew tried to jump um, Mad Music. Uh, I don't know if he was trying to rap for them or what, but... I mean, what's your what's your take on this? I mean, who who takes the L on this? Uh, Mad Music has to take to, has to take it just for the simple fact is, um, like he gotta stop he gotta he, he gotta stop running up on niggas, man. Like he gotta stop fanboying and rap, rapping on niggas. He gotta stop doing that just because he's been doing this for a year, a year, bro. Like it's starting to get to the it's starting to get to the irritation of, of a lot of people. Like, just like boot games, like, bro, you've been doing this for years, spitting some of the same bars in front of these same, in front of different celebrities for years. Is it for the clout? Are you dropping music? Like, that can be irritating. I know a couple months back that he tried to rap for NBA Young Boy and he pushed him or something like that, or he hit a skin move on, on him. him. Yeah. yeah, so it's just like, bro, not everybody. I mean, like, I know I get tons of niggas sending me music in my inbox, and, like, you get probably shit 10 times more than me, but it's like, it gets aggravating after a while. I mean, it's different avenues and it's different ways to get your music heard. And I, he got to take this L, bro. He got to take this L. I don't, yeah, like, man, 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 music, you have to take this L simply because when you're in an altercation with somebody and then you record it, you're definitely clout chasing. Now, if it's a heated uh, debate or a heated moment or a tussle or a fight that breaks out or a brawl or any type of violence that goes on and you recording it, you're looking for clout, man. And I just feel like if somebody else recorded it and, you know, the the the, the mad music dude was, you know, still hollering and fighting me one-on-one, it would have been, I would have been like, okay, this nigga really, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, y'all really trying to jump this dude? But he's recording it trying to get clout. And I just feel like, damn, nigga, you, you being an attention whore now. You know what I mean? Like you said, it's starting to get to, to the irritation of a lot of people. You know what I mean? So I, I feel like, I got to give him that L, you know what I'm saying? NBA young boy, he's doing a lot of reckless stuff right now, but I, I just feel like, you know, um, Mad Music, he really just started this shit. Because we know he just be walking up on people, man. Same location, same everything as last year. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just like, just like you said, there's a piggyback up what you was talking about recording. It's like, bro, like, you know this man is on, like, felony probation. You know if he touches, you know if, you know, even if you know if he lay a finger on you, he, he worth a, he worth a couple of M's. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. you know that's that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. But you gotta stop. You gotta stop walking up on people trying to rap. That's not gonna get like a nigga with a record deal can't really get you a record deal. So a lot of this rapping in front of artists is cool, and they might can vouch for you or maybe whatever. But it's 2017, about to be 2018, man. Put yourself on, man. Put yourself on. Like if you if if you Invest in yourself, man. And I'm not trying to down mad music because I, I respect the hustle, man. It's like I can't even run into half of these artists that you run into. You know, so I don't got the courage to even do that rap in front of people. But you got it, it, it's time to switch up, bro. It's time to switch up, switch up your hustle. And niggas, like I like I said, like I always say, niggas gonna test you. All that shit you doing on Twitter and Facebook and whatever. If you doing that hollering, shit, niggas gonna test you point blank. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, NBA Young Boy yelled at the end of the video, when I catch you, I'm going to shoot you. I mean, do you do you feel like, the, you know, his PO officer or, you know, the, the laws, do they look at stuff like that? Like, is that considered a threat or is no. that just freedom of speech? I mean, I didn't, I seen the video, but it, it didn't come out of his mouth. I didn't, I didn't see it come out of his mouth. I didn't right. hear him say that it could have been any no, one of the definitely heard. We definitely heard him say it. No, somebody said it, but, like, in his defense, he, his lawyer can all, all defend. Like, did you see hear him say it? You know what I'm saying. So, um, like, it, it's nothing. Like, I, I feel I feel like it's nothing. He he, but do need to watch out, man. Because I think they're both from New Orleans, ain't it? Oh, Louisiana. Yeah, 45 what? minutes apart. You know what I'm saying. So, niggas gotta watch out, man. I, I hope it don't lead to violence. I don't, you know what I mean. I don't, I don't encourage it, but I always I always say, man, you shit. And the NBA young boy got in a fight the very next well that night. That night exactly. So you think that he was trying to avoid the fight with Mad Music because he had the camera or you, I don't know. 
I don't know, but I know they're, they're I mean, you know, we posted the fight on um, the, the the blog, and it was that same exact night. So I'm not saying they fought. I'm just saying he got in the fight. Yeah, he got a he got a just uh, just on the NBA young boy too. He got a, he got to chill out, man. He has he's he's having success. He's doing his thing. He just need to chill out, man, because um, it's just it, it, like his career is going upwards, and it's, it's another nigga come ready to take his spot. Whether it's a, a main man to take, you know, I'm not really like them niggas. I mean, it just it's a lot of it's a, it's a lot of niggas that's 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 coming for coming for that, his his spot. And you know, I think right now he's he's at the top of that that young young next nigga spot other than like Kodak, you know, Kodak is, yeah. you know, Kodak is at the top of the game right now with, with, with the, you know, 21, 22 and under uh, crowd. So yeah, man, he just need to chill out, man. And my main music got to take his L. Gotta take the L. That's a fat L, man. Like, people <laughs> was already annoyed with the nigga. Yeah, hey, now yeah. it's just like, all right, dog. You know what I mean, so, should he, do, should he slow like down? You feel like you feel like you do you feel like he's done? Do you, well, hold on. Let me ask the people before we get out of here. Do y'all feel like uh, the Mad Music Cat? Do y'all feel like he he should be done with the shit, or, or do y'all feel like he should still do that because that was his niche, that was his way of people finding out about him? And and and, and last and, and last and not least, who who takes the L? I mean, a lot of people were mad at NBA Young Boy because you know, quote unquote, they tried to jump him or whatever. Or does the Mad Music dude take this L? Y'all comment below, subscribe, and y'all let us know, man. I mean, who takes this L? Follow me, Sean Cotton, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Oh, Raheem Bellatine on all sites. We logged out. Yeah.